As the veterinary world continues to develop um, and progress and get far more specialised and kind of broaden the treatment options that we have, obviously there is a cost to that. Um, and so sometimes these extra add-ons that we do now have available to us can carry that extra dollar tag to it. I think that as a veterinarian, um, you know, certain things aren't going to be available to everybody. That's just the way the world works. It's the same in human medicine. Um, but where people are able, I think it's important to kind of have an understanding with the client of the value of the service that they're receiving. It doesn't matter what it is, but we have to be able to present those options and go over the value. You know, if you take that time breaking down where those costs come from, then, you know, it's, there's no argument there. It's just, well, I can or I can't afford that. It, it, you know, I, I understand and it's great and it looks fantastic, but unfortunately I can't afford that. Or this looks fantastic, this is brilliant, let's do this. So, you know, there's always going to be, unfortunately, you know, people that can't jump on board with the latest technology or the latest treatment for this or that. And there usually is, you know, another option um, below that, which is nice because it means that we still can provide care. That's not an issue. Um, but as long as we're, we're really kind of educating people about the value of the service, that's, it's so important because otherwise, People are just seeing a number. Well, what, what does that number entail? There's so many things that, that go into that number. And, you know, it's a fact of life. If people don't make money, then we can't reinvest money into making things even better. You know, we wouldn't have what we have now if somebody didn't make money off something because we just wouldn't have it. So I think that's the same the world over, human healthcare, animal healthcare. Um, and at the end of the day, as much as people want to disagree, animal healthcare is a lot more affordable than human healthcare. Um, unfortunately, insurance, well, fortunately, insurance for human beings makes it so that people don't really see how much things really cost. Um, you know, there are insurance companies out there for pet healthcare, but mostly it's, it's not that widespread right now. And so I think that people sometimes get sticker shock, but actually, comparatively, um, it's pretty good value for money, what you're actually getting. Um, and actually nowadays, the pets are getting the same as the humans, um, just at a massively reduced cost, um, even though it seems like a big shock.